these two individuals here in this video are um, experiences that were very macabre and brutal and evil. The young man at the top, somebody stole his father's bicycle and he reported it. The individual was arrested, detained, in custody and on release. The person gathered some others who circled him, threw him with, doused him with alcohol and lit him a fire. 80% of his body was burnt and he's going to be in hospital for about five months, recuperating. At the bottom, we have a former teacher in Alabama. Uh, she was dating a fellow teacher who had his girlfriend, uh, with, who was, his girlfriend was six months uh, pregnant. So this teacher, this former teacher went over, she borrowed a, a gun and a knife, went over and shot at this lady, stabbed her up to death. Now in Alabama, um, she has uh, special circumstances here because they consider fetus a life. So uh, two lives she took and then she went into this home to commit this heinous act. So they have her own burglary and uh, probably um, it's recommended that she be executed. So the jury might recommend death for her. So you wonder why individuals are this evil. And uh, this was predicted a long time ago. The, the scripture says that uh, when Christ returns, will he find the faith on earth? And the word faith is from the Greek pistis, which means to believe, to have confidence in, to trust, and so forth. So what it is saying is that not too long from now, there might not be any trust and confidence in the true God. So there's this end road of evil and uh, in the 60s it was coming on as something a musical visit of us or something exciting and, and interesting and so forth beautiful elegant uh, looking classy and prosperous in san francisco right now there's a musical called wicked and folks are saying wow and they use the word wicked and evil to describe things that are extraordinary beautiful or whatever but that is a deception because wicked and evil are macabre and dangerous. It affects your mind. Now some aspects of evil are like drug addiction, um, yoga, Halloween, uh, voodoo, uh, witch doctors, psychics, astrology and so on. But these things are so innocent that folks think that it's okay. But when it matures and you become entrapped, it's dangerous. Because like drugs and, and, and evil, they affect the mind to such an extent that one's intelligence seems to diminish. But it is clear because the, the scripture says that the beginning of wisdom, knowledge and understanding is to respect God. So anytime you're not respecting God, you can't have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Now, some of these folks go to universities and they, although they, they're evil, they graduate first class honors. But usually before they could retire, they end up getting destroyed. Drugs, some foolishness to do, or whatever, they're gone. But that's not true wisdom. I mean, you could, you could memorize some stuff or do what a teacher wants, play the game and, and get some good honors, but the thing with, with, with that true education with God is that you have character development, you have knowledge, you get along with people, you love yourself, and, and, and God, and you only go. It's a, it's a better way to go. So, this Halloween season here, I'm trying to rec remind folks that this thing is very macabre. And many individuals, the first religious experience, they're putting the kids into this Halloween. And these kids will grow up trapped in this thing, and they're destined to destruct. Uh, they may stay in school, they may get a doctorate, big nurse, big medical doctor, but before long, they all did. Um, they're going to start doing stupid stuff like this medical doctor, this attorney that start using drugs, and then it took over his life, and uh, end up in hospital, end up fleecing people, becoming negligent, and, you know, it's really destroyed. So be careful. Don't put your kids in this situation. Um, you know, preferably give them to God so he could watch when you're not watching. He could take care of them in dangerous situations and times. And 
especially in these end times when things are getting more difficult. If you can't handle it with me, though my whole life is hard, I could always give my problems to God and ask Him to take care. But if you don't have that, then you bear to yourself. It becomes so crucial. You kill yourself, kill others. It's just dangerous. So I trust that you know we'll just give our kids a fighting chance. Don't give them on to the devil.